Have you ever experienced a cloudy aquarium? Maybe you thought to yourself, what did I do? What's going on? How did this happen? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing my experience with a cloudy tank, often referred to as a bacteria bloom. And we're going to take a look at how I handled it, my thought process and what I did to solve the problem. Now be sure to stick around for later in the video to find out how you can save $15 off a pair of Vessi shoes. Okay, so I experienced what I believe to be a bacterial bloom in the reef aquarium. And here's kind of what happened on day one. Came home to the tank being cloudy, so I did a quick 10 gallon water change. Let's see what that does. So I got home and I noticed that the tank was cloudy and I have no idea what was going on. Now the tank has been doing just fine up until this point. I mean, it's just been running like clockwork and everything seemed to be going well until I got home and I saw this and I did not know what to do right off the bat. Um, now, one thing that could have contributed to this is that we had our regular uh, pest control service come out that day. Now they don't spray anywhere near or around the aquarium, but they do spray the rest of the house. And the last time I did see something like this happen in the aquarium where it got cloudy was when we used Lysol to clean some furniture in the house. And if you use too much aerosol cleaner like Lysol, your tank can absorb that into the water and it will cloud up for sure. With this situation though, I did not want the tank to become too cloudy because if the tank is too cloudy and it's a bacterial bloom in your reef tank, it can deplete the oxygen in your tank and create a sort of hypoxic state in the aquarium and the fish won't have any oxygen and they would end up dying. So my thought process was to do a 10 gallon water change and make sure that the aquarium is uh, well oxygenated and the water is moving through the, the sump and there's plenty of uh, surface uh, water agitation going on in the aquarium. Okay, so this is about 9.20 at night. This is the next evening after noticing what I believe is a bacteria bloom. Um, the anemones look a lot better than yesterday. The corals seem to be doing fine. Um, the toadstool is great. All the green star polyps are out. All of the zoanthids are out. These mushrooms are a little bit unhappy down there. But I mean, lights are starting to go out at normal time as well. Uh, there's plenty of water flow, surface agitation going on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some aquachar. I'm going to add uh, some aquachar down there that tracked this bacteria I don't know help clear up the tank that's what aquachar does is help clear up and clean up your tank so but before I added the aquachar I needed to do a water change
Now, aquachar absorbs things in your water column to clear up your water and kind of clean things up and make it clear. So what I did was I took the aquachar that I had in the sump, I pulled that out, gave it a good rinse, rinsed it off in the water to kind of free up that porosity within the aquachar, kind of free up the pores that of the existing aquachar. And then I added fresh aquachar to that bag, made sure to clean out, like shake off uh, the bag in the water to make sure I rinsed it thoroughly and got rid of any particulates and dust particles and stuff. So I put that fresh aquachar with the shaken bag of aquachar back into the sump and this is what the tank looked like two days later okay so here's two days after the aquachar fix the color here but look it's a lot clearer now so water changes and adding aquachar has helped my situation with this aquarium it's looking pretty good all the anemones are out I could clean up the glass a little bit, but everything's looking better. And here's what the tank looks like four days later. It appears to be back to normal, no more cloudiness. Everything looks to be happy. Let me know in the comments what your experience has been with bacterial blooms. Now, before I end the video, be sure to check out Vessi shoes. Vessi's will keep your feet cool in the summertime and warm in the wintertime, and they are 100% waterproof. Having a reef aquarium, I'm bound to spill water on the floor, and if water gets everywhere, including my shoes, I know my feet and socks will stay dry, thanks to Vessi. Use code Coral Reef to save $15 at checkout. Visit Vessi.com. Links in the description below. Thank you so much for checking out this video. And if you want to check out a video that I hand selected just for you, then click or tap the screen to watch the next video here. And I will see you in the next one.